Ah, Hassan Campbell, my favorite big time YouTuber. Oh man, I'm so, hey, I'm so thankful for DJ Academics. Thank you for letting him get on your podcast to give me content. Yes. I'm about to milk all this content. And just show y'all how s- pathetic and stupid Hassan Campbell sound. Now, I just I just want y'all to make make this make sense, right? The big bad wolf, Hassan Campbell, Bronx Wolver, Poppy, Poppy Chula, Papa, Papa, Papi, Papi, Papi. Y'all know Hassan Campbell, but y'all don't know Papi. Okay, so Papi, Bronx Wolver, Papi was a sound like you was a hitman. Sound like you was like some 007 type. You was uh, you was you was in the Bronx w- River, jumping through windows and ass- assassinating people, and you was like you was like the black Puerto Rican Spider Man or something. Like you was a you was a ninja. Hassan, make this make sense. I I, 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 I just want to play this part. Jesus so Christ. I, I, like, let me, let me explain something to you, right? Like, people got to understand something. When I... What do we need to... What do we need to understand? Because there's a question that I want to ask you, but help me understand something. I told people if I wanted to put him in jail, I could. When I first came out, I didn't want to put him in jail. I just wanted the world to know that he was playing daddy daycare with children. Hold on. I don't think y'all heard that part. I think y'all just let that part just go over your head. Okay, so he's talking about Africa Bambada, right? Let's just play that part again. first came out, I didn't want to put him in jail. I just wanted the world. Son. When I told people if I wanted to put him in jail, I could. When I first came out, I didn't want to put him in jail. I just wanted the world to know that he was playing daddy daycare with children. So, you did not want to put Eric Africa Bambada in jail. You did not want to put the man that allegedly put coconut oil on your thighs grease it up really well back door with some Crisco sauce with some vegetable oil you had you had avocado oil coconut oil vegetable oil on each thigh simmering overnight with garlic butter Parmesan cheese. African Bambada marinated your thighs because he knew on Thanksgiving that he was going to have a feast. So you did not want the man that lubricated your thighs. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. That allegedly... Retussy rolled your thighs. Because we know that you got the magic thighs. That's what you said. You said that your thighs cost more, cost, cost more than people's lives. That you got the magic thighs. So your coconut oil thighs was being sauteed around tiny onions, pepper, just simmering, waiting for African Bambada to open the door and say, Tyson, come here, boy. Give me them thighs. So a man that allegedly (laughs) 
slide down your thighs like the water park. Sweet slip and slide thighs. You didn't want to turn. You didn't want that man to go to jail. The man that plays slip and slides on your thighs. But yet you allegedly killed three people or you. I don't know if you killed three people, but you killed one allegedly or you attempted murder. Whatever. So the big bad wolf can allegedly kill people. I don't know if it was personal beef or, you know, you did some like. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know what what led you to do what you allegedly. So you went out there and put in work because in this interview, he says that Africa Bambada was the getaway driver. So the man that parked his vehicle inside of your Big Mac, huh? How it go? Fuck this Big Mac out of my good butt, butt, butt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He parked his tr truck in your Big Mac or some shit like that. I don't know, I don't know what the, the hell a Cardi B said, but y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. So you didn't want to turn that man in, but yet you go around and you kill other people, allegedly, attempted murder. But the man that violated your manhood, you didn't want to do nothing to him. And when you got out of jail, you didn't even want to put him in jail. You just want the Internet to know. So you don't want anything physically. You don't want no physical harm to happen to Africa Bambada. You don't want him to go to jail. You don't want him to. You don't want justice to be served. You just want your voice to be heard. Make that make sense. I, 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 I just don't get it. I don't get it how you want a man to go free that put coconut oil on your thighs. Did he put... What kind of seasoning did he put on it? It just don't make sense, or something. And it doesn't make and what baffles me, and what baffles me more than anything is that you still wear a do-rag under your hat. I I used to do that when I was in high school. You got a do-rag under your hat? And you know what else kind of made me go, Rrr! do you know what else that just made me go, something, something just ain't right. Now, I don't know how the gun laws was back in the New York City Bronx River days when Hassan Campbell was had vegetable oil on his knees and thighs. I don't know how the gun laws was back in the day when Hassan Campbell was jumping through windows and assassinating people and shooting people from 500 meters away with his super soaker. I don't know what the gun laws was back in the day. But Hassan Campbell said that he beat three murder charges. Not one, not two, but three. 
Three? I mean, one is like lucky. you like, okay, you got away this time, but if we catch you again, we gonna get you. Hey, we caught you again. Ah, we almost got you. The first time didn't work. Uh, the second time you barely escaped. But the next time we get you, oh, that's gonna be it. Oh yeah, because it was one, two, three strikes and you out. Oh, we got you the third time. Ah, you know what? We can't, we don't have enough evidence. Let's, let's just let you go. Hassan, where did you get the money from with these murder cases? You were young. Where did you get the money for it to afford these lawyers that got you out of jail? Or that, you know, help you beat your case? Hassan, you telling me that you got away with three murder cases? Not one, not two. You over here sounding like LeBron James on opening night in Miami. What's up, Miami? We ain't gonna win not one championship, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. You tell me you were the LeBron James of Bronx River? You were the LeBron James of the, of, of the Bronx River, huh? I'm not gonna kill one person. I'm gonna kill one, not two, not three, not four, not five. And you ain't go to jail? For life? They ain't find no evidence? Three times? They didn't find no do rags at the crime scene. With your Jerry Kill. With your, <laughs> I know you was wearing do rags at the crime scene. If 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 you wearing do rags at fifty, you was definitely wearing do rags at fifteen. They ain't find not one Jerry Curl juice, no do rag, no oversized fitted. So you telling me you went out there shot someone, and I know you had a baggy fitted on. So when you was running away from the crime scene, you telling me your your oversized fitted stood on your head while you was running. That that fitted didn't blow out and and leave evidence. Damn, Hassan, you are you one hell of a nigga. <laughs> Still think I'm crazy. <laughs> Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. My favorite big time YouTuber. It's amazing. Three murders? Three attempted murders? And you are free to talk about it? It's impressive. What's really what's what's more impressive is that you don't want nothing to happen to the man that put vegetable oils on your thigh. You just want to talk about it. You don't want nothing to happen to him. You just want to talk about it. That makes sense, because if somebody violated my manhood, so I would just talk about it, too. I, I wouldn't want nothing. I wouldn't want anything to... Matter of fact, if someone... Violated my manhood. Shit, fuck it. I'll just go take some pictures with him. Oh, that's. Oh, you did that already. Oh. Yeah. So chat, chat. I just want y'all to make that make sense. Can y'all help me understand? Like, is it just me or he just full of shit? Y'all leave a comment down below. More reactions on Hassan Campbell coming up soon. Make sure if y'all new to the, uh, if y'all new to this goddamn uh, channel, 
hit the subscribe button hit that like button and we definitely got more videos Hassan 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 <laughs> I'll see you in my next video peace